Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiriawan, and today I just want to quickly share to you what micro Fortis camera gear that I will bring on my upcoming trip. Let's go! Before we continue with today's video, if you are a current subscriber, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you will enjoy this video. If you are a new viewer of my channel, also welcome. I hope that you will also enjoy today's video. In my channel, I talk about camera gear, micro footage camera and lenses, as well as photography, as well as filmmaking. And I also talk a little bit about music, guitar, home recording, rock metal, that kind of stuff. So if you're into those stuff, please consider to subscribe to my channel now let's continue with today's video so next month I will travel to Bali Bali which is a part of Indonesia and I will go there with my wife as well as my family for a little bit of relaxing staycation kind of holiday there and this is not a photography trip this is just a casual kind of relaxing trip together with family and just spending time together that kind of trip nothing really serious we don't have a really tight itinerary packed with uh, good sceneries and photo spots so this is not a photography oriented kind of travel and because of that this means that i will carry fewer gears compared to my normal trip nevertheless i still want to share with you what i will carry especially for my camera gear and lenses for this travel now without further ado let's talk about the camera gears that i will carry themselves First, let's talk about the camera body. I will carry a Panasonic G85 that's currently recording this video right now. As some of you might already know, I also have a Panasonic GX8 and usually when I travel, I carry always two camera bodies so that I can have multiple different focal lengths at once so that I don't have to change lenses. But this time I wanna keep it minimalist. I wanna keep it simple. So I will just carry the Panasonic G85. I am planning to make a little short vlog about my Bali trip and I'm planning to use the G85 to record a little bit of b-rolls and maybe a little bit of talking headshots for my vlog. So stay tuned in my channel if you wanna watch that vlog. And I will also use the Panasonic G85 for photography as well to take pictures of the sceneries, of the uh, things that I encountered during my trip, as well as to take pictures of my wife and my family. Speaking about the lens, I will carry this lens as my main lens for the Panasonic G85. This is the Panasonic Lumix 12 to 35 millimeter f2.8. So this is my favorite travel lens as well as my favorite all around general purpose kind of lens for both photography and video. This has image stabilizer built into the lens as well as a large aperture of f2.8 at all focal lengths. And this is like your 24 to 70 millimeter kind of lens in full frame terms. And this is very useful for all sorts of general purpose photography, for sceneries, for a little bit of landscape, for food photography, as well as for a little bit of portrait. Other lenses that I will carry on this trip is this Lawa 7.5mm f2. So this is a ultra wide angle lens for micro footage that I will also use on the Panasonic G85 to capture larger sceneries to uh, do a more serious kind of landscape photography and video with it. This is a very unique lens. If you are a subscriber of my channel, you already know anything about this lens because I feature it so much and it is simply because it has a large aperture of f2 and it is very small and very lightweight. The other lens that I will carry is either this guy that's currently recording this video right now, the Panasonic Leica 15mm f1.7 or this Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7. Either of those, I'm still not sure which one which I will carry and they're both uh, performing similar functions with the Panasonic Leica uh, being a little bit wider than the 20mm but the 20mm generating a little bit of bokeh. 
either the Panasonic Leica 15mm or the Panasonic Lumix 20mm will perform as my low light lens for uh, food photography, environmental portrait, and just general purpose low light situation. So uh, comment down below if you have any suggestions for me uh, between the 15 or the 20mm. So yeah, in terms of my micro photos gear, it'll be just one camera body and three lenses and that's all. That's very minimal. It is a lot less gear than what I usually carry on my trip. And now let's move on with my non micro footage camera gear. For my main vlogging camera as well as my uh, supplemental b-roll camera, it'll be this guy right here. This is the DJI Pocket 2. This is still my favorite when it comes to travel vlogging camera. And uh, with it, I will also carry the do-it-all handle for my audio solution for using the wireless lavalier microphone that comes with this guy. Or I can also use my external microphone, the Rode Video Mic Me, which I can just plug it in into the DJI Do It All handle and this will become my vlogging rig. The DJI Pocket 2, however, will not be my photography camera. This is strictly only for video and for vlogging. And speaking of video, I will also carry this guy right here, the Insta360 Go To for B-rolls. This is a really wide angle kind of action camera that I can submerge into the water and this will be my main B-roll camera. I will also carry this guy right here, the Rode Video Micro microphone for my Panasonic G85 if I decide to use my G85 to record talking heads or vlogs with it. Now to carry all of my camera gear, I will use my Ona Bowery camera bag. This is a really small camera bag uh, that's in a messenger form, which I really like because of the easiness to access the gear inside the bag. And this will provide more than enough space for all of my camera gear, as well as a little bit of other travel essentials such as power bank, my cell phone, my wallet, and other stuff as well. And that is all of my camera gear, camera lenses, and accessories for photography and video that I will carry on my upcoming trip. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that you find this video to be useful for you. Please comment down below if you have any suggestions suggestions for camera gear that I should carry or I should not carry in the comment down below. Also, if you have any question about this video, please also comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. Also, don't forget to support my small channel by liking this video, sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below. It will really help me to motivate me to keep making these videos for you. So that's all. Thank you and goodbye.